Hey everyone, I'm over here listening to Bradley uh, Hack. Hacking part. How are you? Uh, I'm doing a header for a website. I just kind of thought, well, heck, I'd, I'd uh, do it in front of you to see how I design. And. Uh, so it's going to have my name on it, obviously. So I'm going to do the text and split it up. And I'll pick a, uh, I'm probably going to go with, like I've done before. Uh, okay, impact with that. Uh, and put, I love Scriptina. I think Scriptina is my favorite new. Uh, there it is, right. Oh, where you at? There it is. So, anyway, I'm going with this. I'll take that. And, uh, no, okay, here's what we're going to do here in all caps. Okay. And I'm going to treat it. Uh, I usually go with red and yellows. I mean, when you go down the street, if you want something to be seen, if you look at all the signs on the side of the street, yeah. really the reds and the yellows, like McDonald's and uh, or red and blacks, like Pizza Hut, they just stand out. So, uh, but I'm gonna put a fountain fill on this. So I'll just go 90% um, and go from red to yellow. And I'll make sure that the yellow the gradient. The gradient. He says the gradient. And so there we go like this. And see you can't really see that very well, so what I'll do, I'll go ahead and take this thing oh. and go like this, and then I'll make that completely all black. And put it underneath. Like so. I don't want to go and put a drop shadow under it all. I'm going to go ahead and fix this up real good. Now, the I don't think the W is big enough, and the I think the uh, E and the R is too far away. So it's, they call that kern to kern the characters. But I'm going to do better than curve. I'm going to I'm going to I completely separated everything, and I'm going to. Go like this, and I'm going to make the big the W bigger, and then I can select this and go ahead and combine it, and then select this, and this, and oh. I have to put that behind and combine that. Take this. Put that behind there, and this, and this, and combine that. Uh-oh. I have to back up, because what I did was when I selected that and this. Okay. Now i got to select this here. Put that behind, and get that little part right there, that little part right here, right here. Just like that. And so now I can take these and really, this is where you kern. To kern is to tighten up the letters or to separate them more. And so, Bradley, you need to be, be quiet back there. Get that. Okay. That's gonna happen. Bradley. If I told you once, I told you once. And so. I don't okay. worry. And now I can select all this and I'm gonna weld it. I don't have to get out of the welder. Here's the thing. Zzz. Bam. And I weld it. 
And so I don't think it's really that impressive. strong. So impressive. what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and make a contour around the complete thing on the outside. And we'll see how it looks just a one step. Uh, that's a little bit too much, so control Z to undo that. Hit O5. I think this one might work. Okay, that, that looks good. And so what I'll do, I'll separate that. I'll take this, get rid of this. Set this like this, and I'm going to put it in front. So you hit shift and control, control up, and right. I'm also going to do this, uh, uh, the same gradient as that has right here. Well, I'll go ahead and duplicate this and set that. Okay. And I can take this. Now I'm going to take both of these things and make them to where um, I can drop shadow on it all. Right here. Uh, and so you see there's a little bit of a drop shadow, but I'm going to make it more prevalent. And I'm going to make it even darker. And so that's what we got so far. And it's, I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty cool. I could group it all and center it up. And sit. That's what we got so far. So and I'm thinking, really, to be honest with you, now I'm going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm going to make the garret just a little bit less. And I'm going to do I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Bring this over just a little bit. Bring it up a little bit more. Like so. There we go. Now I'm going to drop in a picture, and the picture that I usually use is, um, let's see if we got a picture of, uh, let me see here, um, let's grab my, I'll get rid now I'll go to my pictures, here, See if I have the one that I want. I probably should have done this. For well, no, this is fine. I might be able to use. Uh, this is hold me up. Hold me up. Gotta get the picture. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go from my pictures here. Oh, uh, take this. Oh. Uh, should have prepared for this, huh? But this this shows you how really you can do this. Oh. I'm like an Okay, we're gonna go to photos. Oh no, I'm losing time. Oh, 
Yeah. Uh, we'll just we'll just use this one here. Save picture as. I'll save that over. Here, off of Facebook two. Save. Okay. I'll go over here. So I'm going to take your uh, import uh, designs here at Facebook. This one. And I'm going to set that behind. <coughs> and Okay, so I'll take this and crop it down. This is probably not, of course, not going to be the header that I'll use. Uh, Bradley Harmer, he's a whiz when it comes to making websites. And, I mean, the guy is just... I know we've got a past and he was homeless for a while, but you know what? The whole time he was home, it takes a very intelligent person to be homeless. I mean, you really got to know what you're doing. And um, he uh, he is a whiz. I mean, the guy, before MySpace and before, uh, I mean, this was even before Gmail. This dude was on there, He and his handle name was Internet Impact. I mean, he was... He had it. I mean, he was just wonderful. And so, um... An easing rider. Easing rider. He's got that going on right now. And so, as you can see, right now, I could use that for my... Resurrector. Yeah, so I could use that, if I wanted to, for my design. I'm sorry, see it? Well, what do you the mean? Header can be, you know, on the screen. It won't. I mean, we can put that on there, like in the, you know. I'll put your videos on there, your media and all that. And I'll give you a blog. You can check in every here. day, huh? Uh, I'm just going to another picture to where I can. Let me show you again. I'll show you. Again. Go ahead and do what you enjoy, though. That's a good pick. Yeah, it's okay, but it's really not, it's not the picture that I want. The picture that I really want would be, let me see here. Uh, this is, well, I'll, I'll show you an example. So I'm going to just done. copy these from Some my, of these other websites I did. And that's how it's going to be. And then we'll build a site. I'm just going to grab a picture from from one of my main pictures, the one that I I usually use. Um, and as you can see, you just you know copy and paste and drop and all that stuff. Uh, that's how long it takes me. It didn't take me that that long, as long as I. Uh, come on, man. Yeah, it goes nowhere okay. without code. Oh, well, now I'm blocked from sending friends. Oh, that's great. Okay, yes, I understand. I don't even do this stuff, I don't care. I care about. Okay, that's fine. Uh. <laughs> this sucks. Facebook needs to leave Facebook alone. They suggest all these friends, so I friend request them and. Look at me now. Why are you cussing Facebook? If they weren't there, you wouldn't even have it. You know what? It's none of your business, number one. Yes, and it is. no, it is not. I mean, if they suggest all these friends and you request all these friends and they don't tell you, okay, you can, you got well, two more friends. That. I mean, okay, all right, well then next. Well, next is they're doing the best they can. Oh, whatever. They're getting, they won't leave, Facebook will not leave Facebook. Well, do you write one at work? 
Oh, whatever, Bradley. Please, please, God. Okay. Let's see. I like Bradley. It. You need to. Got it. Oh well, um, tell you what, we can just, we can use this one right here. What are you doing? We could try. Mine doesn't go with the one I have. This is fine. Anyway, so that's how, how long it takes me. Then I can take, you know, uh, say all the above and then put my So I can put that on there, and I'm going to go ahead and center it up, um, and pick out a, so and split that up, and I will do that one, and that one, with the same gradient fill. And take this and this group. I'm going to make this black so we can get the well, underlying. So, and take this and this. But the thing that you have to have, you have to have your reference art pretty much, as you can see, on hand. And that way, when you go to creating this stuff, you're ready to fly. Still 50. And then I'll take this. Anyway, so that's what we can use. You know, we, can you see that like that? And there you go. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what I do and how I do it. And I'm pretty fast, but you know, and I've had people sit and watch me, and I charge forty-five dollars an hour. Well, sometimes sixty-five. There's digital enhancement and photo retouching and. You know, people, well, you did it so fast. Well, you know what? When you go get your uh, tooth pulled, how long does it take that dentist? Forever. <laughs> no, it don't take them no time. Feels like it. It don't take them no time to pull a tooth. And they charge you at the yin-yang. You know why? They went to call well, us. Well, that takes forever, was, too. You just can't get him to shut them up. Uh, yeah, no good luck. Uh, anyway, so that's what we have so far. Anyway, I enjoy. I hope you enjoy this little uh, what I did and uh, uh, whatever, dude. You know what? I am hanging out here at Bradley's and we're just having a good time today. Anyway, coffee. Hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.